gonna take you guys on a journey. We're gonna be talking all about the care of our horses. I've got a variety of different horses that I'm gonna be introducing you to today. And we're gonna cover a lot of the essential things that you need to know. There are two types of horse care, full care and self care. The pros to self care are that you're in control of your horse's care, you're able to see your horse every day, no travel required, and this can be more cost effective than boarding. The cons to self care are you need to care for your horse every day, even if you're sick or the weather is bad, and you have to find someone to watch your horse if you travel. The pros to full care are you do not have the responsibility for your horse's daily care, you may travel as you like, and you often have access to in-house professionals in a horse community. The cons to full care are you're not able to oversee all aspects of your horse's care, you need to travel to visit your horse, and this is often more expensive than self-care. The first thing that your horses need in their daily care is access to fresh, clean water at all times. Horses drink anywhere from five to 10 gallons of water a day. So here I'm filling up Raina's water. This is a 20 gallon outdoor water and I just cleaned it out and I'm filling it up for. Another way that you can provide horses with water outside is through an automatic waterer, as you can see here. This is a pipe that goes down into the ground so it keeps the water from freezing in the really cold weather and keeps it nice and cool in the hot weather. No matter what your source of water is, you wanna make sure that you clean it out every day so no bacteria grows in your troughs. When you are putting water in the horse's stalls, I like to put two five gallon buckets to make sure my horses always have access to water. So another important part of our horse's daily care is giving them hay. So here I have two different types of hay. I've got alfalfa hay and I have grass Timothy mix hay. The average hay bale comes in a small square form like this. You could also be getting your hay in a large round bale or you could be getting it in a large square bale, as you can see here. The average horse consumes around 2% of their body weight in hay a day. This means they're eating anywhere from 15 to 20 pounds of hay. When it comes to feeding your horse, every horse is a unique individual, so consult your vet about what works best for your horse. So I'm here at Sand Hill. I have Legend and Crosby. Legend and Crosby are pretty opposite when it comes to their feeding. So I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about what they eat. So I'm here in the feed room and I'm getting Legend and Crosby's grain ready. And when is the time that we wanna feed grain to our horses? Well, there's times that we want to help supplement our horse's diet of hay and a forage by giving them grain. These times are when we have a horse that needs some extra weight, a horse that's growing, or if we have a horse that's in a lot of work and they need to help retain their muscle mass. First up, we have Crosby's grain. You can see how Crosby gets quite a bit of grain, and this is because he is a hard keeper, which means he has difficulty putting on weight and keeping it on. So we've got some senior feed in here that I'm mixing up with some um, outlasts to help give him a nice balanced diet. In comparison, we have Legend's grain, which you can see is quite a bit less. And that's because Legend is an easy keeper. So he puts on weight easily and can get a little chunky if we're not careful. So he's just got a ration balancer. So Crosby has this joint supplement in here as well because he is an off the track thoroughbred. He's got some arthritis in his hock. So this just helps to keep his joints healthier. And there's some other times when you might give supplements to your horse. Here you go, buddy. The times you might give supplements to your horse if you need a little bit of extra nutrients to help boost their coat health or the health of their feet, or if you need a horse to have a little better gut health, those are times you could add an extra supplement in. So next up, we're gonna be taking Legend's grain down here. And Legend doesn't get any supplements, and that's because he really has healthy feet, he's got a healthy coat, so he doesn't need a lot of added nutrients. Hey, Legend. Buddy, can I see your bucket real quick? Oh, stepping on it. There we go. Good job. Another part of our horse's daily care is cleaning out their stall. 
So when we're cleaning out our horse's stall, you can see how I'm using a pitchfork to sift through the sawdust. I prefer to use sawdust as my bedding for my stalls. Um, it's just, I find it to be easy to clean out. I've got my pitchfork to sift through the sawdust. And then I have a shovel to clean up any pea spots. If you have your horses at home or you're caring for them yourself, you can clean out your stall once or twice per day. And if you have your horses at a full care boarding facility, they'll clean out your stall for you. So another really important thing to have for your horse is a shelter, somewhere to get out of the weather and out of the sun. So behind me, we've got a shelter that is a metal shelter. There's also some that are wood. And some people who have stalls, like an in and out stall available, don't have to have a shelter. But if you don't have an in and out stall, then having a shelter is a great thing to have for your horse. We pick out our horse's feet here at Ohio because it's a really wet climate and I want to make sure there's no thrush or fungus that's getting in those feet that's causing some issues. The other reason you could pick out your horse's feet is to help get any rocks out of their feet so you prevent bruising. So here I'm brushing um, Crosby off with a curry comb. This is the first brush that I use to brush my horses off and it helps to get off any excess dirt. Getting off that excess dirt is going to prevent any fungus from occurring on our horse's coat. We're gonna to help to bring some circulation to the coat, which is gonna make it a lot healthier. And brushing also gives us the opportunity to check our horses out for the day, look for any cuts or scrapes that may be on them and medicate them before they turn into anything. Once I've curried my horse off, I like to go over them with a stiff brush like this and this helps to be able to get off that dirt and hair that we brought up to the surface with the curry comb. Finally, I like to go over my horses with a nice soft brush like this, which just helps bring out the shine in their coat and brings those oils to the surface of the coat. When I'm brushing my horse, it takes around 10 to 15 minutes a day, and it's a wonderful way to bond with your horse. So there's a lot more we could talk about in horse care. I'm going to be covering some future videos and things like emotional care and other topics. If you guys enjoyed this video, you can like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.